Hi everyone, it's Christina. All right, so today's video, I want to do a page here in my journal. My last video I did, I put this journal together and I do want to do a page in this journal uh, making an embellishment. But for right now, this is my personal journal and I want to do a page in here um, because I just bought this new die from scrapbook.com. Now it's by Elizabeth Craft Designs. And this is a four piece die and it's called Planner Essentials. Planner Essentials. So it comes with a film strip and then this one, this one, this one. I haven't used the clip yet, but I've used these two. And I will show you it cut out. So this is the film strip. And I've already cut a whole bunch of these ones out. And I wanted to I wanted to do a layout with uh, my mom and my dad. And then, okay, so when you cut them out, they come apart like this. So you've got this die and this die, which is nice because you could put a full picture in here. But I also like it together like that, like all one. So what I've done is as soon as it comes out of the die machine, I take it really carefully and turn it upside down and then I just scotch tape everything together and the picture is in there too. I'll show you one without scotch tape. Let's see, yeah, see there or without the picture. So this is just scotch taped and I've got that scotch tape. So I've got a whole bunch of them. Pretty, pretty colors, all spring colors and then they're great for layouts. So in this layout I'm going to do, I'm only using the film strip. And I'm almost finished this insert, notebook inserts, with would be January, February, and March. So what I thought I would do, first we're going to have a doily back here. And then the film strip. I'm going to have to cut it because it's a bit long. All right, then on Amazon, I bought these Rolodex cards, which were pretty cheap. I can't remember. Somewhere between, there's a hundred in here, and it cost me somewhere between six, six and eight dollars. I think shipping was free already on Amazon Prime. Um, and that's a lot of cards in here. It's going to last me a long time. But the reason I like them, because they're two and a quarter by four inches. And the other Rolodex cards I have are this size and they're a little bit big. I always have to cut them to fit this five to fit this page here. But these ones fit perfect. So I don't have to do any cutting. And then I've got these little tiny tags. So I think I'm going to snip it and then it'll lay behind the memory decks card and I'll put some twine or something here. I've already got some pictures cut out, some really tiny pictures here. So I'm going to have one of Indy, me making my bread, Mark and I going for a walk. And how I'm going to do that is, because there's not a lot of room to tape and glue this down, but, but it'll work. There we go. See, it's all taped up. A little cat hair in there and hey we're all ready to go. I want to ink this up. I just haven't decided what color. We got to do something bright. We need to add a little brightness in the world. So I'm thinking a little, a little yellow, maybe a little blue and green. There we go. See a little yellow. I picked a little purple instead. Ooh yeah. Ooh la la, I like it. You know, it is such a beautiful day outside today. It's gorgeously sunny, but it's freezing out there. It's like 40 degrees. Who wants to go outside, right? So much for global warming. It's like global freezing. All right, so 
that's about where I think I will glue the doily down and then the strip die will go like that. I'm going to have to cut the end off here and then the memory decks. I think I'll ink it with a little tumble glass just around the edges. And then yeah, that'll look better. I have a question for you guys. See this thread here? This is by Stampin' Up! and it's I don't know what they called it. I think it was like craft thread and it's very thin. Like I'll put another, this is Baker's twine. I mean, it's even thinner than that. Um, and I just love it. There's, so there's two threads here, two or three, I think two. Um, and it just, when you tie it, so where's that little tag? When you tie it, Oh, I might have to cut this a little. Like when you tie it, it's not too thin. It's not too thick. So it lays nice and flat, especially in a journal. I don't want it to get too thick. And it doesn't, uh, you know how some thread, it just falls down? Well, this one doesn't. Look how nicely it just stays up there. And you can't get it anymore, not stamping up. So what I'm asking, does anybody know? Um, I'd like to buy this in bulk. And just look how like these little threads come out from the side. It's kind of wispy. So if anybody has this at home and, and knows where to get it, um, I would appreciate it. And maybe you can leave me a comment. Okay, so let's get on with this. You know, I always wanted to tell you what my favorite glues are. So I get these um, online at Amazon or at Walmart, and this is just the runner tape. And I usually buy, like I don't have to buy the whole piece anymore. I just buy the refills. Love that. Use that all the time. Fabric tack glue, Tombow mono liquid glue. This is the white one, and it's got that nice fine tip. I like that. And my glue stick. And my glue gun, which I just purchased last month on Amazon. And I like it. It doesn't drip too much. The best feature is it's nice. it gets nice and hot, but I like that it's got the on-off switch. My last glue gun never had an on-off switch. And then I would forget to unplug it at night, and I'd come back the next day, and there would be this big blob of glue that it dripped out. So, like my new pink glue gun. <laughs> Sometimes it depends what I'm doing and what I'm gluing down. I'm using a different glue. If I'm gluing down fabric, usually it's my glue gun and fabric tack. But I was going to show you. So here I've got white trim. See, I have this trim here, but it's more a vintage look. But this is white trim. All right, so I used this here by, I got, got it at scrapbook.com and it's called Journey Craft Glue. And it's, it's good, it's good glue, but you see how it yellows the fabric? And then Fabric Tack, and this was my glue gun. Fabric Tack one, and you know why? Because look, it didn't yellow it, so I love that. And then, yeah, I did that on the vintage with the this lace here so it's a little darker in color but still fabric tack one so just thought that would be a good little tip there so we're just going to trim this bottom part off and then the page is done i'll journal on it later but just a quick quick easy page to do and then i can just Put a date here. I could add a few little other embellishments as I want or when I want, but here I'll journal about the pictures. Okay, something else that I wanted to share with you that I purchased um, a few weeks ago. I went to the office supply store in town and got, it's called Uniball Signo Broadpen. 
and I'm sure you a lot of you know about this is just a white pen I love journaling with a white pen and I've had several over the years and a lot of them just don't work but I love this pen did, did you see I love this pen I love this pen oh I love this pen I love this pen <laughs> so guess what it was the last one and I said, well, are you getting more? And she's like, no, we can't get it anymore. So I came home, Googled it, and I bought these three on Amazon. And they're exactly the same thing. Yes, this is a Uniball. The one I bought at the office supply store is a Uniball Signo Broad White uh, UM153. So I bought these on Amazon, the same thing. And the test is, do they write the same way? Oh, yes, they do. I love this pen. So there you go. I will leave a link below for, I don't know, the dies and anything I purchased. I'll leave, I'll leave links below for you guys. But ugh, love these pens so much. The next thing I'm going to make for this journal is what we call or what's called a journal tab. And I like to make um, several of them and have them handy. Um, and have them ready to put in a journal. And this is what they look like. I just have this little container I picked up at the dollar store. And then I've got some pre-made journal tabs here. So I'm gonna make one. And I don't know if you remember, if you watched my last video, and when I was doing a little bit of sewing, and when you finish and you pull out the thread and then you cut it, well, I like to cut it, I like to pull it out a little extra long and then have a big pile of thread. And then if I have to snip some extra trim and stuff off, I don't throw any of this away. I keep it all because it looks really nice when you're decorating your journal tabs. So I've got a few little things here. Um, I like to use this punch, this tab punch. And I have these cut out, these little flowers, and it's a butterfly. And then I've got some papers left over from when I made this journal. And then I've got this container here that is full of buttons and bling and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out... Or maybe I'll grab my trim, my trimmer. All right, so I got a couple of those. And maybe a few little strips of these. So all I'm doing is just cutting different different sizes here. And then I kind of here I'll grab I'll grab one that's already made like this one. Okay? See this one is nice and small. It's nice and small and easy to make. So let's just re recreate this one. Um, okay, so I just start with a piece of patterned paper on the bottom. And I'll use this one. Actually, I want to make something for here. So I want it to color coordinate. So maybe, oh, maybe we'll do something here. Okay, so we'll use this one. And then where did it go? Then it doesn't have to be this tiny. I'm going to make it this big. And then there's some fabric underneath. So let's use that. Okay, maybe I will make this a little smaller. Oh, here we go. We'll use this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we've got some fabric underneath. And then we'll use another. Let's use this. Maybe we'll go like so. Okay. And then. Nope. I'm going to my sewing machine. 
and I'm going to do probably one or two, three rows of stitching. So I'll be back. All right, so there it is, all sewn. I think I did three or four rows of stitching. Uh, then from this sticker pad by Simple Stories, the I Am collection, um, this blessed sticker, I'm going to use that. But rather than stick it down, I am going to put it on some paper first and then cut around it. And then my tab punch, I already punched out a tab here from this paper. And I'm going to glue that on the back there. So I'll do that right now with my handy dandy glue gun. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to bunch it up a little bit and put it here. And then I'm going to hot glue blessed on. And I just love that, those threads hanging in the back, you know, in the background there. And then I'm going to put this one here. I had a little embellishment there, and I'm going to find something there. I could put this uh, butterfly right there. Yeah, I think that will look nice. And usually what I do with when I, ha when I glue on butterflies is I put hot glue on the outside edges. And then when I glue it, I like to have the middle raised. And there you go. Woo hoo hoo, a journal tab. I love making journal tabs. And then I'm just gonna put that there or there. And I like when I use double-sided paper so you can see this tab on the outside. And whatever goes on this page, you could put a word there. And then here, blessed, it could be anything. It could, you could take a picture because you had such a wonderful day and you felt so blessed, and a picture, and then you journal about it. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to make another one. So I've got this strip of paper. I have this. This is ribbon. I've got this, this ribbon. I don't know. I probably got it at Michael's a long time ago. So I've got the paper, pattern paper, the ribbon, and this. I'm going to sew that. All right, and then I'm going to take some of this thread and this piece. And this piece. And sew that a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is I have this airmail envelope, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to tape it in like a tip pin, so I'm going to tape it right there.
And then I'm going to take the journal tab and I'm going to put it along the side here. And then when you're, then you can flip this envelope like so. And I'm going to leave it blank because what, whenever the time comes to document or whatever is going to go here, then you could glue down one word or a bunch of words right here. So, All right, before I say goodbye and close the video, I am going to show you one more thing that I got at scrapbook.com, and I love it. All right, so there it is. And it's by Totally Tiffany, and it is called Die Stamp and Supply Organizer. And I love it. I've wanted this for so long. It's always out of stock when I go to check for it. And it's also, it's not expensive, but with the U.S. exchange rate, so somewhere between 30 and 40% plus shipping, it was kind of expensive. And my husband, who can make just about anything said it would be cheaper for me to order it and then not long ago I won a gift certificate on Instagram from one of my or somebody who follows me and I follow them so I use the gift certificate towards ordering this and I love it so it sits here on my craft table and I've just got you know journal cards and stickers and tags and you know, just full of things that I use all the time when I'm um, working on my journal. Okay, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.